Live from Madrid, Spain, it's theCUBE. Covering HPE Discover Madrid 2017. Brought to you by Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Welcome back to Madrid, Spain, everybody. This is theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage, and we're here day two at HPE Discover Madrid. My name is Dave Vellante, and I'm with my co-host for the week, Peter Burris. Jeff Carlotten is here. He's the senior director of Solutions Go to Market right. with Thanks. System Integrators at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. And Kalyan Garamella, who's the IoT manager at Deloitte. Yes, that's Gentlemen, right. welcome to theCUBE. Thanks for coming on. You bet, love to be here. It's always a great time. Yeah, so, you know, when you come on with Deloitte, we always sort of mention you guys are one of the top system integrators in the planet. You've got deep expertise in vertical industries. Mm -hmm. You guys bring the technology expertise. Last time we were talking about manufacturing. This time right. we're going to talk about Retail. Yes. Why retail? You know, retail's in turmoil. Everybody's got an Amazon <laughs> uh, war room, but you guys are going after that, helping some of your customers sort of take advantage of their physical presence, bringing in an online presence, yeah. moving to digital. Is yeah. there hope? There is hope. There, <laughs> retail is not <laughs> dead. You know, I hear all the time about this retail apocalypse. Retail is dead. And in reality, it's not dead at all. Still, uh, 85 to 90% of purchases are being going through a brick and mortar store. The problem here, and the apocalypse will happen to those brick and mortar retailers that don't change. They don't digitize and change to the changing demands of a consumer and the way they want to purchase something. Uh, give you an example. Uh, my son, or uh, even myself now, I increasingly want to do things through an experience, uh, my computer, my, my mobile phone. I, I do research, I, I want to understand, I want recommendations, I want personalization, I want to be catered to, I don't want to go stand in lines. Well, that experience can be done, but our unique ability is taking that experience and applying it into a brick and mortar environment. Well, I got to say, I love going to Cabela's <laughs> <laughs> with my kid, with my wife. I mean, I can spend all day in there. <laughs> I mean, can't get that on Amazon. <laughs> so, Kalyan, tell us about your your role at Deloitte. Obviously, you're specializing in the retail practice. What's your background and yes. how would you get so here? So, my name's Kalyan Garamilla. I've been an IoT manager from the Deloitte IoT practice uh, based out of San Francisco. And uh, we have been working with our partners and friends, HP, Aruba, uh, over the past year or so, helping them develop IoT go-to-market projects, uh, products that can be that we can take to market. Uh, and recently, we just uh, working with manufacturing and the retail industry. So, what's the conversation like with your customers? As I said, everybody's got an Amazon war room. They're trying to figure out, okay, how do we leverage our physical presence as an advantage? Um, what do you, what are the conversations like with with clients? With our clients, mostly they're talking about how do we mimic our online channels. Right, if I go to an online retailer, you know if I go open, uh, say, Amazon.com, they know exactly what item I am purchasing, where I'm going next, what, uh, how much time I'm spending. So, in order to differentiate the brick and mortars, in order to differentiate themselves from the fellow retailers, they have to offer that customized shopping experience mm -hmm. in order to get, give a reason for the customers to come in store and make that purchase. So, they're trying to look at uh, what new technologies that we can are, uh, that can we can help with? What are the, some of the new processes that we can help with? And that's where um, uh, most of our conversations have been going on. Yeah. So it's really really experience problem. It, it is, and um, you talk about Cabela's. Yeah, and and here, I'm, I moved into a new house, ready to buy my big lazy boy chair to watch <laughs> Sunday football, and I'm not going to go online just buy a chair, a lazy boy. I want to touch and feel it. I want to lay down. I want to understand. Well. That is a perfect opportunity of providing an experience that allows me to do the research, get suggestions, go into a brick and mortar store, try it out, then guess what? I'm getting personalized, hey, you know what? There's a nice beer stand that I can put right next to that table, it'd be perfectly complimentary. Hey, here's a light that can look over. So we have that ability of actually um, tying together an experience, actually predicting in advance what the customer really doesn't know they want next, but they really do want it. Example, we just walked out of a client engagement. Beautiful example, client engagement. It sells high-end women's fashions, right? Dresses and shoes and accessories and everything. And he's, he basically said, hey, we're dabbling around with RFID tags and inventory management, but we don't know what to do, right? Bingo, we now have a proven reference architecture 
um, called the Connected Consumer. This is a preview to be announced uh, to be soon, but that can allow actually that client to integrate and optimize and digitize um, the solution for a number of different use cases that spans a, a unique customer experience, uh, in-store operations and efficiencies, and then providing insights through analytics, in-store analytics, to make decisions quickly. So you've got, by using this architecture, building the solutions based with Deloitte competencies and capabilities, and HPE Aruba technology, we can deliver that to increase top line revenue, increase basket size, decrease inventory costs, lost uh, uh, inventory, yeah. and provide much greater brand loyalty to those customers by having a nice personalized experience. They know me by name, they know what I'm looking for in advance. Mm -hmm. Beautiful solution. So, the online retail world did two crucial things. One is it provided a new way of a customer to buy something. Mm -hmm. And number two, it provided a new way for the retailer to learn something about the customer. Very, very powerful. But as you said, we are still, last time I checked, physical things that move through space, that use physical senses to make decisions. Correct. Tactile, do I like the color, you know, the experience. Right. I mean, yeah. I remember having arguments with people about whether the Apple stores were ever going to have any impact in the world. And boy, did they prove that experience of physically being there matters. Yes. So in many respects, what we're talking about is we're talking about creating spaces that correspond to the experience that a mm -hmm. customer wants in a way that doesn't force them into another I, channel. I think that is, that is an excellent point. I think you'll hear Kirti, and Kirti talks about it, who leads our Aruba team, and they are renowned for taking a space and providing, using technology and IT, and software and security to provide a total experience, an immersive experience for those that are occupying that space. But that's not how retailers used to think. What they used to think was, this is the space where I put my inventory, where I show my product, and then I'll put the cash register over here. What you guys, I presume, are trying to do is show, how, show them how they can turn that physical space into a place that can bring in the yes. online digital that's elements right. yes complement it in a way that Bingo. makes that store a source of differentiation. It gives that experience in the brick and mortar store and allows the comfort of, yeah, you know this. And makes it differentiated. Really exactly So that right. someone wants to go there because that is a valuable experience in and of itself. Totally. And, and sadly, retailers of the past 40 years have always relied on big brand names to attract customers. If I have the best brands in the world, customers would come to me. That, that scenario doesn't hold true anymore you need to give them a reason, a personalized, curated experience for them to come in. Well, not the least of which is that digital technology allows us to spin up new brands like overnight. Yes. And so all, so, so there's a, there's, it's having an erosive effect on the other side of the inventory. Yes. So tell us a little bit about where you think over the next few years that differentiated in-store experience is going to be. What, what is going to constitute great retail? So. I'll start and then I'll turn sure, it to you. Sure. First and foremost, the expectations of millennials and, and other generations is more of that online experience. So I think, I think retailers of the future have to be able to provide that customized experience to be able to provide predictive. People are not, waiting in line is not an option <laughs> in the future, <laughs> right? I mean, even you, you, you look at Costco. That, how, how you know, waiting in line is not an option. I think that ability of, uh, you have to have more instantaneous gratification, but allowing, if you will, the personalization, I, I'm being covered. I think that is one expectation for those that want to sustain a business in retail in the future. Yes, and add, and add, add on to that, right? I mean, the marketing managers or the store managers of the past have always relied on opinions rather than data and insights to make biz better business decisions. Where do I place my product? Where are my customers spending most of my time? It's just, guess. It's, most of it was guessing. Now, there is a technology out there where we can actually monitor what's happening inside your retail store. And thereby, you can make better business decisions uh, to help you with your customer journeys. Put so traffic, put traffic, you know through video analytics and the data, someone's hanging around the Nike booth or whatever, uh, you know, trying to understand, and you can 
purposely point them and give them suggestions of 20% off, and so you can personalize that experience. So I, I'll, my, we have a CIO client uh, and uh, that's in the retail space, and the way he described it is you got to break the whole thing down. Let me test this on you guys. You have a period of, I want the experience of shopping, and mm -hmm. the example that he gave me was a bike company a number of years ago who used flexible manufacturing to collapse the time, high-end bike, to collapse the time from ordering the bike to getting the bike down to a few days, and they failed because the customer liked waiting. Uh, the process of buying, reducing time, simple, straightforward, but also what they said, and, and this is the kind of flexibility I think we're talking about, is some people don't want to walk out of the store with the product, they want it delivered to their home. So the store is, again, not the place where the inventory is, yep. it's the place where you experience the product. Yep. And that they create an option, how would you like that? Oh, I'd like it to be delivered to my house. Yes. No problem, there yep. you go. Yep. Is that the kind of thing that we're talking about in the future? Absolutely, we call it the unified commerce or the omni channel shopping experience. You want to give the, the customer all the options available. Like you said, I can buy online, ship it in store. Or, or I can buy in store, get it to my house. All the different options that a customer is looking for on an online channel, which is easy and convenient, we want to do that in a brick and mortar as well. And our solution can help you do that as well. So when you guys encounter a client that is you know, declining same store sales, so the management is, is concerned about you know, the future, it seems like it's a tired sort of experience, and you know, that's sort of the end of the spectrum, and you want you know, the, the yeah. 2B That's right. is Future this state. nirvana that yeah. you're yeah. talking about. Where do you start, so um, and who brings is, what expertise? This is actually, I'm going to repeat what I said last time. Our mantra yes. is, first off, you got to think big, then you start small, and then you scale fast. And what I mean that, or what we mean by that is, with Deloitte's capabilities, we can jointly come in and help a retailer, let's think it through. Let's think, you have how many branches located where, what are your problems, what's your inventory leakage, um, you know, what's your current experience, what's your in-store Wi-Fi. We can build a plan on what we can do. But the next big problem that we see is not about the technology, it's about the people and the process. How do you convince us, how do you convince some to invest to change? Well, this is through our proof of concept capabilities. We have the ability of starting small. Let's just go in and we can do through this architect's modular proven architecture, we can do a starting board. Let's just start with some RFID tags and tags and start small. We can deliver the business value and calculate that and extrapolate that out if we apply that to your all your stores and scale fast. So we're making it this be an on-ramp for yes. those retailers because they're saying, what do I do? I know I need to change, but what do I do? So you do like a test store model, yes. right? Okay, and, and then what? You, that's your POC, is it an, an and actual? The, yeah, and then, school. so I want to go back a little bit on this whole IoT offering. It's a composite offering, right? It takes a lot of technologies coming together and a lot of SMEs, subject matter experts, yeah. to come in and help you to build that whole solution. And that's where I think our solution is where um, it's ready to go, where, you, where all the pieces have been uh, put together, and can be easy, from day one, the time to market has been drastically reduced because of this, right? So, we see a lot of value in that. So, so, the, so, so you're able to say, okay, what kind of target customer, what kind of inventory, what's the cost of it, what's the turn, take all those business attributes mm -hmm. and then say, we can map that back into a set of physical and system components that you can scale fast. That's right, That's right. it really exactly. comes around, you know, Three buckets. We're doing this to optimize and increase kind of revenue, basket size, conversions, everything tied to revenue. Yeah. Decrease cost, yeah, efficiencies in inventory, logistics, people, uh, labor. And then uh, providing a much greater experience of brand loyalty, which will also affect both cost and inventory. And, and, capture, well. and capture additional data. So for example, returns means two things. Costs, but also somebody had a problem. That's yes. right. Unsatisfied right. customers, yes. So, uh, we're out of time, but so summarize kind of where you guys are at, uh, your solutions, when it's going to be available, your go to market, give yep. us the sort of bumper yeah. sticker. This, uh, right now we're here at uh, HP Discover, we are previewing this uh, connected consumer architecture. Um, we are, we'll deploy it uh, calendar 
quarter one of next year will be the full uh, uh, announcement. Uh, we have contact information. We would love to engage in clients and start that discussion now around doing proof of concepts. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're going to be not only driving this collective retail uh, solution that can be extrapolated into different, different use cases and markets, but we're also continuing to drive the more manu industrial internet of things and manufacturing offering around predicting maintenance, asset monitoring and maintenance that we talked about in Vegas. Great, well I hope ne in next Vegas you can come <laughs> back with some examples and some a customer and we can go through sort of what impacts you've had. Maybe you'll be through a POC at that point in time. I'd love to get the Cube into one of their POCs. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We'll That'd love to awesome. do it. All right guys, thanks very much for coming on the Cube. Really All right. Good to Thank see you. Always great to see you. All Thank right. you. Thanks, keep it right there, buddy. We'll be back with our next guest, Dave Vellante, for Peter Burris. We're live from Madrid, HP Discover 2017. Right back.